Philip Hildebrand, you've always come on and said, look, we shouldn't worry too much about inflation because it's a supply shock and actually it, it will kind of readjust. The markets now seem to say, look, they got it wrong. They should have acted quicker. Have you readjusted your inflation expectations? No, I think the key is that we live in a world shaped by supply. You know, in the past, it's always been about demand. This is a different world. The great moderation is over. And what it means for central banks principally, I think, is that you can no longer automatically stabilize both inflation and output. There's a trade-off involved here. That's the, that's the effect of having uh, the world shaped by supply forces, and this is what's been driving this inflation. So what we have to understand, and markets are coming to terms with this, is that you know, the more aggressive you focus on inflation, the more you're going to have output volatility and stress in financial markets. The days of kind of the, 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 the divine coincidence when if you stabilize inflation, you would also automatically stabilize output, okay. those days are over. So are, are you telling me that the Fed cannot engineer a soft landing? I think it's very unlikely, uh, exactly. I mean, this is, this is the key, and in my mind, what's been missing a bit from the communication framework of most central banks is to acknowledge that we're no longer in the great moderation period. This is a different era, a different regime, and there's a trade-off involved. And you have to start to talk about this and say, yes, we can aggressively raise interest rates. Yes, eventually we could get inflation down, but it comes at, at a cost. There's a trade-off involved in terms of output and in terms of, as we're seeing, financial markets. So, so do you believe that the Fed is, is now maybe too aggressive? Are they right to be as aggressive to actually try and deal with inflation, or will it push the U.S. in a recession? I still think there are two topics here. One is, should we get out of this very expansionary monetary policy? Absolutely. That's why I think what we saw this morning uh, across the street here makes perfect sense. We need to get to normalizing uh, rates, right? And as quickly as possible, frankly, in my mind. Beyond that, it's a whole different story. That will not be enough to get inflation anywhere near uh, the levels we had before. And so then comes the question, what do you do? Do you really go into very tight territory? Do you uh, aggressively tighten monetary policy to get inflation down? You'd have to tighten it, I think, very aggressively to do that, given the supply side nature of inflation. And that's when you have to start to acknowledge that there are trade-offs. Let's focus on the Fed, because I do want to also really speak about the S&B with you at length. But on the Fed, what's the terminal rate? So if inflation's at 10% and gets stuck around that level, are we going to see interest rates at 5% or beyond? First of all, I believe inflation is peaking as we speak, and so we will start to see inflation coming down. And it's going to be lower in six months, but it will still be much higher than what we're used to. And, and that's, that's when the Around issue these comes. Levels? No, it'll, it'll be significantly lower than where we are today, but it'll be far away from, you know, two, three percent or whatever the target might be in different countries. So, and that's when, when the issue comes up. M my sense is that in the end, because of these trade offs that I talked about, uh, we will end up seeing cumulatively less interest rate, uh, interest rate hikes than, than what many people are thinking right now. Because the, the cost of it in terms of output, in terms of market volatility, will simply be too high. I was going to ask you about market volatility. Do you worry about liquidity? Well, liquidity is going to be an important point, certainly. I mean, what you know, in this world where we're no longer in the great moderation, where there is a trade-off, there will be great volatility. Uh, you can't just stabilize everything just by stabilizing inflation. That means market participants have to brace themselves for volatile markets. We're seeing it again this morning. And that means, of course, as a market participant, you have to focus on liquidity because what you don't want to do is get caught up in a volatile, uncertain market with limited liquidity. So I think the, the focus on liquidity will be very much a dominant theme amongst market participants. But is that something ugly could happen? What did we live through on Monday? I mean, is, you know, some traders were, were almost making parallels with 2008. Now, I know it's very different in nature, but it, it was you know, a pretty big wake-up call. Yeah, uh, because this is very different than 2008. You know, the financial crisis was a huge shock, but it was a classic demand shock. What we're seeing here, this is an economy shaped by supply. And so therefore, uh, the reaction to tightening will be very different. And that's what markets have to embrace. But what you're telling me is that then all bets are off because we've never seen this before. Yeah, that's right. I think this is, you know, uh, this is an entirely new regime. Uh, the great moderation that Ben Bernanke and others coined beautifully at the time, that period is, is over. It's behind us. And frankly, central banking is much more difficult today than it was for my generation. So this means what, that we could have a, a further correction, even a 10% correction across the board of all asset classes once markets realize this dynamic? If the central banks were to choose uh, to really 
drive inflation back to uh, the targets, uh, they would have to raise rates very, very aggressively and would not be able to stabilize output at the same time. And so until they clarify this trade-off story and where they see themselves with regard to this trade-off, I think markets will remain vulnerable.